Homestead how to. Homestead, Homestead, how to. Homestead how to. Set a fence post. Doesn't necessarily have to be a homestead thing, but if you ever need to set a post um, using those red bags of quickcrete, I guess that's the first part. What kind of concrete should I put? Should I even use concrete? So we did a gate on our chickens run over here earlier. I just dug it down, backfilled it with dirt after I put the post in it because it doesn't have to withstand a whole bunch of pressure. What we're doing right now is a dual purpose raised bed. The first purpose is it's gonna have pretty flowers in it. The second purpose is it's gonna hold down the erosion coming down from the hill. So we want it pretty sturdy. So I'm digging about a foot and a half to two feet down with my post hole digger. And you want to go fairly wide with it. We're using landscaping timbers, you want, but you want to go fairly wide with it. And then you're going to first fill it up with a little bit of water, slosh it around, pour a little bit of quick creed in there, put your post in. Then you'll see we're going to move the post back and forth as we fill it with, fill it with the, the rest of the bag. We're going to use one bag per post and we're going to fill it with water and about 20 to 45 minutes, depending on humidity and crap like that, is it going to set. I think the bag says wait a couple hours, maybe even a day. Read the bag on before you put an actual load on it, like if this was a swing set or something. But we can start constructing on it after about 20 minutes, right? Because I'm already screwing boards into it, but nobody's resting on it. That's how you set a post. Gandalf of Roots. You shall not pass. And I would agree. I'm not going any further. That's plenty deep. Okay, next. We pour a little bit of water down the hole. We're gonna slush it up. That's a technical term. With the landscaping timber, we wanna get water on the timber itself and all around the hole. That's really not such a big deal because it's been pretty wet out here today, but just for the sake of doing it, we're gonna do it. So let me get some water. All right, there's probably exact measurements, and honestly, and I think about it, there's probably directions on the bag. Um, but this is how I've always done it. And if you ever, if you watch any of our videos, we're hardly precise, but we're gonna put about that much water in, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. It's that much. All right, so here's the landscape timber. We're gonna slush it around a little bit. Just like that. Okay. You still have a job in this. So you should find out where your level's at for future reference while I do this. All right, so what she's using is called a post and pipe level. It's really handy because when you're leveling a post, you wanna level this way and this way and at this one you can do it at the same time so you put it on the edge of it and then you just look at both of them get them lined up so that's how we do that so right there's where we want to be when it's all said and done okay. so that's level all right george get your dirt and get out of here Pour a little in, set the post back in, get it lined up how you want it. Careful with the twisting. Well, I was twisting it back so it was straight. That's fine.
Eyeballing it, that looks okay. What do you think? Um, yep, that looks all right. Yeah. All right. So, so, while your partner in crime holds it, you're going to add a little bit more water up to the top. And this is why you want, this is why you want the concrete not to come above the hole. So when you're pouring the water in, it'll just kind of sit there, right? Um, if it looks like you're going to end up with the full bag come up out of the hole, just stop pouring, right? Because you didn't go deep enough. But that's it. And then we'll just hold it for a little bit. And, and honestly, in a couple of seconds here, it'll probably get firm enough to hold itself under its own weight. And then, like I said, yeah, see, it's already holding itself. But don't push on it or nothing. Just let it sit and uh, just chill out about 20 to 30 minutes or so, then you can start screwing stuff to it. Um, you can't really put a load onto it for a while. Um, just reference the bag. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the Homestead How-To.